The main UN agency Gaza is in turmoil after Israel accused some of its personnel of involvement. Hamas October 7 terrorist attacks. The United Nations Relief and Works Agency dismissed several employees following allegations that were not made public. As besieged Palestinian region entered spiral of humanitarian disaster, United States and many other countries stopped funding to organization, which employs approximately 13,000 people in Gaza. Nine of 12 UNRWA staff at the center of allegations have been dismissed. UN Secretary General Antonio Guterres said on Sunday. Another had. And the identities of two others were still being clarified. Any UN staff involved in terrorist acts will be held accountable, including through criminal prosecution, Guterres said, adding that an independent review would be held soon. But he called on countries to continue financial aid to UNRWA, which supports two million Gazans who need critical assistance for daily survival. Following the allegations, nine countries have so far suspended funding to the UN's main agency in Gaza. There must be consequences for the heinous alleged actions of these staff, Guterres said. But the tens thousands of men and women working for UNRWA, many whom are in the most dangerous situations for humanitarian workers, should not be punished, he added. The urgent needs of the desperate population they serve must be met. UNRWA was established by the United Nations to provide humanitarian assistance to Palestinians displaced after the 1948 Arab-Israeli War. The organization defines Palestinian refugees as persons whose normal place residence was Palestine. Between June 1, 1946 May 15, 1948, and who lost both their homes their means livelihood as a result the war 1948. The number of people who fit this description is currently 5.9 million. Israel has rejected possibility of allowing displaced Palestinians to return to their homes, arguing that move would change Jewish character of country. Since its establishment, the United Nations General Assembly, the voting body of all member states, has repeatedly renewed UNRWA's mandate. According to its website, the organization has provided assistance to four generations of Palestinian refugees, including education, health care, camp infrastructure, social services and emergency aid, including during times of conflict. Neither Israel nor UNRWA specified nature alleged involvement of UNRWA employees in October 7. Events or number employees allegedly involved. However, an Israeli official told CNN on Friday that Israel shared information about 12 personnel allegedly involved in the October 7 attacks with both UNRWA and the United States. UNRWA Commissioner General Philippe Lazzarini said he had received information regarding the alleged involvement of several employees. According statement, in order to preserve agency's ability to provide humanitarian aid in Gaza, it decided immediately terminate contracts of these personnel and launch an invest.